Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, peace, and love of the risen Christ be with all of you. And with your spirit. We gather to celebrate Mass today, opening our hearts to our Lord. We will, uh, the saint of the day is St. Fidelius. Uh, St. Fidelius, a Capuchin in, I don't know, the 10th or 12th century, somewhere in there. One of his things was a lawyer to the poor, but also preacher to the Protestants. I'm not sure how that comes about but uh, certainly was something he uh, attempted to do in his life. And as we recognize his stand for the faith, his uh, ministry in life, we recognize our challenge to stand strong in our faith and for St. Fidelius even to death he stood. And so we recognize at times we've not stood that strong. We have sinned, we have lied, we have turned from our God. So we seek our Lord's mercy and forgiveness. Lord Jesus, risen from the dead, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ Jesus, the way to the Father, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, the Word made flesh dwelling among us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And let us pray. O oh God, who were pleased to award the palm of martyrdom to St. Fidelius. As burning with love for you, he propagated the faith. Grant, we pray through his intercession, that grounded in charity, we may merit to know with him the power of the, the, power of the resurrection of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law, respected by all the people, stood up, ordered the apostles to be put outside for a short time, and said to the Sanhedrin, Fellow children of Israel, be careful what you are about to do to these men. Some time ago, Theodos appeared, claiming to be someone important and about 400 men joined him, but he was killed, and all those who were loyal to him were disbanded and came to nothing. After him came Judas the Galilean at the time of the census. He also drew people after him, but he too perished, and all who were loyal to him were scattered. So now I tell you, have nothing to do with these men, and let them go. For if this endeavor or this activity is of human origin, it will destroy itself. But if it comes from God, you will not be able to destroy them. You may even find yourselves fighting against God. They were persuaded by him. After recalling the apostles, they had them flogged, ordered them to stop speaking in the name of Jesus, and dismissed them. So they left the presence of the Sanhedrin, rejoicing that they had been found worthy to suffer dishonor for the sake of the name. All day long, both at the temple and in their homes, they did not stop teaching and proclaiming the Christ Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I seek, to, to dwell, dwell in the house of the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's res refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. One thing I ask of the Lord, this I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, that I may gaze on the loveliness of the Lord and contemplate his temple. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. One thing I seek, to dwell in the house of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Across the Sea of Galilee, a large crowd followed him. And because they saw the signs Jesus was performing on the sick, Jesus went up the mountain and sat down with the disciples. The Jewish feast of the Passover was near. And when Jesus raised his eyes, he saw the large crowd was coming to him. He said to Philip, where can we buy enough food for them to eat? He said this to test him because he himself knew that he was what he was going to do. Philip answered him, Two hundred days' wages worth of food would not be enough for each of them to have a little. One of his disciples, Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, said to him, There's a boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good are these for so many? Jesus said, Have the people recline. Now there was a great deal of grass in that place, so the men reclined, about 5,000 in number. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks, and distributed them to those who were reclining, and also as much of the fish as they wanted. And when they had had their fill, he said to them, he said to the disciples, gather the fragments left over, so that nothing will be wasted. So they collected them, and filled 12 wicker baskets with fragments from the bar five barley loaves that had been more than enough that, that had been more than that they could eat. When the people saw the sign he had done, they said, this is truly the prophet, the one who is to come into the world. And since Jesus knew that they were going to come and carry him off to make him a king, he withdrew to the mountain alone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Two points today as we look at this uh, from the gospel. The boy shows up with five barley loaves and two fish, and they're looking at feeding, I don't know if it's 2,000 or 5,000 people. Yeah, like, that's going to have anything. I, you know, like, what's five barley loaves? In fact, barley was kind of the, the, the lesser of the, of the grains that you could have. Wheat was really the best, and barley was kind of the the, the uh, poor person's uh, grain more than anything. Five barley loaves and two fish, two or 5,000 people. I mean, uh, why even bother? I mean, I, you know, if you feed those at the head table, that's going to be about it, probably. And besides, that boy, that probably was their family's meal for that day. So if, if they take that from him, what is his family going to eat? Fast for the day? Maybe they fasted yesterday already. So what, what is there to eat? But... In, in the midst of that, Jesus, um, and certainly in the Gospel of John, definitely kind of in control and, and on a journey and, and has, a, has, a, has a place in mind, has a, a, a method in mind. You know, get, take the food. Have the people recline in groups, blessed and broken, just like Mass, and share it with a multitude of people, and there were five baskets left over. The challenge is, is that, that they open their hearts to that possibility. First, that the, the boy would give that, the, what he had to eat for today, the five barley loaves and two fish, which the challenge will be is, what do I have to offer today for my family, for my community? And even though it's very little, am I willing to offer it? And if somebody's offering something to me that's far less than what's needed for this, am I still willing to trust the Lord in multiplying that which we have there? So first of all, is to recognize that that offering and that openness. Then we take that to the to the Acts of the Apostles. Again, um, in this week, we've been reading about the early church preaching in the temple area. They hauled them into court. We had the great uh, jailbreak. They're back in. They hauled them back into court. They're deliberating. What do we do with these guys? They put them out. They're talking. And Gamel, Gamelia, this guy stands up, uh, a Pharisee in the Sanhedrin named Gamelia, stands up and does a logical thing. And I've used this principle before. In fact, I even used it one time with our bishop. I called it, uh, it's called the Gamelia principle. And it says, well, let's just go down this road a little ways. Let's just try it out. 
You know, it may not be what I'm thinking. It may not. But if it's of the Lord, we're not going to stop it. And if it's not of the Lord, it's kind of just going to die out itself. And so you take that chance, that risk. I really believe that's how in this parish and in, in other ways in our faith that new things happen. We kind of take the chance. Let's, let's try it. Let's put uh, a time on it. Let's, 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 what are we trying to do? Let's, let's say, okay, how long are we willing to try it? And what, what kind of results are we looking for? One example is if you join us at 8 o'clock this morning, we do the cafe with priests. And of course, when uh, Father Jose first suggested that, it's like, well, is this ever going to go anyplace? But it's like, let's not poo-poo it now. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. How many people will come on? You know, how many people will we look for? A number of people, and that, that is certainly happening. And you see that in other ministry things we've tried here at the parish, some have thrived and some have run their course, sometimes very short, and just need, they're not of God, and they need to be ended and, and look for other things. So kind of that sense of the Gamelia principle may not be in my mind what I would do, may not be my thoughts, but let's take a chance because it might be of God. And if it is, and if it is of God, we're not going to stop it anyhow. And the sooner we get on board, the easier it'll go forward. And if it's not, it'll kind of have a life of its own and, and die quickly. And so we we look at this stay at home time that seems to be getting longer and longer. Um, what new things are on the horizon as we recognize this extension? What new possibilities are there for us to try? Are we open even to the smallest suggestion of a few barley loaves and fish and try something different and, and give it a little bit of life to see if it takes off? See if it builds up the community of that which we live, our hopes, our dreams, if it builds up especially our relationship with the Lord. So what is the principle? What is the decision before you? Is it possibly of God? Can we let it live a little life and set a little bit in place that will help us to see that or not to see it? Let us rise, let us lift up our needs in prayers and be spoken to our God, trusting and believing in his providential care for us. For church leaders, may God embolden them as they shepherd the faithful. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God's spirit of peace move them in carrying out their responsibilities. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick, May Christ, the divine physician, bring them healing and consolation. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those gathered here and for our family and friends, may God open our hearts to the grace offered through the Holy Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they experience the fullness of God's love and mercy in his kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for those traveling today, including our exchange students, and especially for Noelia, for a safe return home, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each other as we continue in this time of safer at home, that we may be open to whatever uh, is coming before us, to the presence of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Together we pray our St. Joseph prayer. Good St. Joseph. As you lead the Holy Family, watch over our families. Help our family and all families to know and share God's love. In our family relationships, may we find healing and seek to be holy. May our fathers help us to become faithful disciples of Jesus, who share our love for him. As foster father of Jesus, watch over all who serve as spiritual fathers. In a special way, bless our Holy Father, our bishop, and our priest. May they follow your humble example in their fatherly care for the people of God, the church. With Mary, you raised Jesus the high priest. You know our need for priests. Please raise up good and holy priests from our families to serve the people of our diocese. May our children and grandchildren hear and say yes to the call of Jesus, just as you and Mary did. Good St. Joseph, pray Amen. for us.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have received this wine. We offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for, for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name. name. For our good and holy to all this holy church. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family, that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For with the old order destroyed, a universe cast down is renewed. And integrity of life is restored to us in Christ. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. And giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory. mystery of faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, David, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Fidelis, with St. Francis of Assisi, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us acknowledge one another with a sign of that peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please pray with us now the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, as though you have already come. I embrace you, and I unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Let us pray. Keep safe, O oh Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, we may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. We wish a blessing upon your day, and especially as we recognize our weather, perhaps moving into good springtime weather, encouraging you to be out, moving about, walking, um, but always keeping our safe distance.